Hi, how's it going? I'm Itali, I'm listening in the moment, and we're looking at the Twin Flame energy for the week of September 27th through October 3rd. September 27th is my birthday, so I'd like to celebrate by giving out, I was going to say two, but I just got guided to say three free readings. Uh, and the way that works is I pick three random comments from this comment section below in my next post right before the reading. So check out my next reading because you have a high probability of winning a free reading for me and it would make me just so happy. All right, uh, with that, let's get started. How does the masculine feel about the feminine? Okay, how does the divine masculine feel about the divine feminines? Three of wands. Like they're moving forward. Like they're moving forward, but in steps. I feel like the divine masculines have been intentionally, um, meaning that they know that they are taking appropriate steps, usually small steps, uh, to not only co like come towards their feminine, but also to be what they expect of themselves to be in a relationship, to be in the presence of someone they, they might consider their equal. You know, um, they want to better themselves in order to come into a better kind of romantic relationship, right? And I feel like the Divine Masters are knowingly taking the steps to do so because they want to be like the Divine Feminines, you know? They want to have that courage, that strength, that creativity, that inspiration to go after what they want. That's who they want to be too. So the Divine Masculines are taking some sort of um, steps in, in, in that direction. Being more creative, going after what they want, not being afraid of what other people might think of them. Because they know that's what the Divine Feminine deserves in a, in a relationship. And that's what they deserve in their own lives too, to be the, their best selves. Wow. Nine of Cups, wish granted. I feel like the Divine Masculines are feeling in their hearts that this is the one, the Divine Feminine. That's a wish granted. How grateful am I to have met the Divine Feminine in this lifetime? They give me something to aspire to. They make me want to be a better person and I'm in follow my heart. This is in the heart space. So they're definitely making small steps following their heart because they already know what they're aiming for. Their wish is already granted. They've already met you, Divine Feminines. What the Divine Masculines have going on besides the Divine Feminines in their heart space? Do they have anything else that is taking up a lot of their emotions at this time? Page of Swords are very excited. I feel like a lot of them are in the process of communication or planning things. Um, I feel like the Divine Masculines have this new um, excitement for life because they are, they have been taking a lot of positive steps in their lives because they want to become that, that not perfect person, but that perfect person for the Divine Feminines, perfect person for themselves, you know, their best selves. Um, and this has got them excited about other things in their lives. What am I interested in? The Six of Cups, the reunion card, right? Um, I feel like the idea of coming into reunion with the Divine Feminine has the Divine Masculines starting to look up things, maybe look up the Twin Flame title soulmates do um is their past lives you know what um what other you know interesting research topics you know your divine masculines might be in but never had the guts to fully you know dive deep in it's opened up a whole new world for the divine masculines to want to better themselves for their romantic relationship with the Divine Feminine, but also to just be the person that they always wanted to be. How the Divine, okay, how the Divine Feminine feels about their Divine Masculines. I feel like the Divine Feminines are feeling like 
they're they're responding to their masculines in their heart space you know they're responding to their divine masculines with a lot of warmth um kindness patience right patience is a virtue right um but not not if you're on this way you're, you're in a place where you're not expressing that you're waiting for your divine masculines because you already have the understanding that you already are in union with your divine masculines so this is kind of like the divine feminines are like hey i love you divine masculines i know you're doing your own thing which they are um, to become a better person so we can come into a better union be better couples be better uh, um, off in the long run um so the divine feminines are kind of like all right i see you i respect you um but i have my own things going on um i feel like the divine feminines like um they I feel like some of them, I feel like some of the Divine Feminines are kind of losing, losing the strength to hold on sometimes when it comes to the Twin Flame journey, especially when it comes so close or when they don't see anything for a long time um, and having to be very understanding, calm. Um, patient, giving good vibes out to Divine Masculines, but also working on themselves, giving self-love. Um, and I feel like some Divine Feminines, they have like a slip, you know? And what I what I can say about that is um, release it. You know, if you are angry about it, get angry with the intention of you're releasing these emotions. If you're sad about something with your Twin Flame journey, you know, Say it out loud, you know, be angry, you know, yell at the wall, write it out, you know, um, do whatever you need to do to release it. Um, it's not being in a low vibrational state. It's, it's about being high vibrational in the fact that you um, acknowledge your emotions and you set it free, you know, you release it. So it's not just building up you. It's, 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 it's done because Divine Feminines, you have a lot of beautiful a lot of beautiful, positive abundance at this time. Um, that is so beautiful. I'm, I'm getting it from a lot of your friends, your family, your community. You're getting a lot of love, Divine Feminines. And it might make you feel like sometimes that like, oh, I have everything in my life except my Divine Masculines. But you already have them. Don't worry about it. Because you have so many other people giving you love this week that just go with it, you know, receive that beautiful love, that beautiful abundance of love. Yeah, I feel like some, some divine feminines may be meeting up with soul family, um, family that you've reincarnated here with, um, friends, soul friends, people in the spiritual community, um, or planning to take like a spiritual retreat, diving deep in your gratitude and um, knowing about maybe you didn't realize how much your neighbors really loved you and or your aunts and uncles really loved you and you got to see proof of it and it made you really happy to know that someone really cares that deeply about you or Maybe you find a community, maybe you're an artist or, you know, you have a very unique talent or interest and you find a community of people that are in that, that um, specific interest or um, have that skill set or um, want to know more about that specific type of knowledge and you find, you find your people, you find your people, you get some love. I feel like that, that's why... I feel like even if you have a dip in confidence about the Twin Flame journeys, uh, Divine Feminines, it, it gets um, filled. Your, your cup of love gets filled by noticing all the other 
love that you have around you. How the divine masculines feel about, uh, think about their feminines, that it's coming. That eventually they will, divine masculines will have an opportunity with the divine feminines. You know, um, this is the ongoing thing, right? The divine masculines are, they've been working on it. And then sometimes they get swept up in their own ideas. And, you know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like um, when you're about to go talk to your crush or when you're about, when you um, have a good friend that's always going to be there for you. Um, or for the Divine Masculines too, it's like, oh, the Divine Feminine is going to always be there. So if they find something that interests them, um, you know, something in esoteric occult knowledges or, you know, just a new hobby or um, something that they love researching and want to just like stay up all night researching this this um, conspiracy theory and going through, going down rabbit holes, it's like, you know, you get excited, you know, and, and you might push off the um, reunion until, until like you satisfy you satisfy the interests that are in your face right now. Yeah, um, they are. I feel like some of the divine masses um, crave the kind of love that the divine feminines are getting from, say, their community, their family, their friends maybe new friends, new groups of people, new soul family you're meeting. Uh, I feel like the Divine Masculines, um, in last week, last week's reading, we said that the Divine Masculines weren't really resonating with their friends or their family anymore with um, how high they're vibrating or the, the different topics, spiritual things that they're interested in now, philosophical things like red pill topics and they are wishing they could have that kind of community base, uh, friend base, that they can um, talk to about all these new things that they're discovering. And the Divine Feminines, you're finally getting, you're finally getting um, more involved with your soul family, your community, um, new people. Um, that really, really get you and love you and will love you, you know. Um, yeah, Divine Masculines are, are having a little bit of a hard time moving away from the old paradigm um, because even the if they leave the old paradigm, if they leave their old friends and old uh, situations, they don't really know where to move on next to. They don't have a new group of friends to just slide into. They don't have a new um, kind of uh, like activities to do or um, lifestyle to indulge. Like they don't have, um, they don't want to leave the old stuff behind because there's they don't have something new to go to next. Um, which is a, a little bit of a reason why the Divine Masculines are thinking about the Divine Feminine so much because um, knowing that they will eventually want to work with the Divine Feminines on some sort of abundance related matter. So it could be literally physical work or a family business um, a project of some sort. Um, they, they, they're craving that so much and that's why they're thinking about the divine feminine so much because um they're they're craving um doing some sort of mission work some some work that they're passionate and very interested in and i feel like the divine feminines kind of scream that to them like this is what the divine feminine is all about this would be the perfect partner for your whatever you want to do your creative ideas um that meaningful work and so the divine masculines are having a little bit of a hard time that they don't know how to transition 
like if I leave my old job, what kind of spiritual job can I get? What can I get? What kind of passionate work, uh, whether it's like music or, you know, if you want to build furniture or, you know, you have this really crazy idea that's so specific and no one else does it out, out in the world yet. You know, like how are you going to start something new? That's so crazy that no one has ever heard of before. So the Divine Feminines I'm getting are kind of in that phase where you are getting into that crazy, specific, detailed mission work that you've been wishing for and wanting. Okay, Divine Feminines, how do you feel about the Divine Masculine? New adventure. I, I, do, I do feel this strongly for the Divine Feminines that there's a sense of... I'm ready to meet the world, see what's out there, and I feel like you're finding the spark of life again, Divine Feminist, after a long, long time of doing a lot of spiritual work and working on a lot of things internally. I feel like a lot of Divine Feminists are ready to take action on a lot of the things that they've wanted to do in the past. I feel like the Divine Feminists are ready to go out there and take action on things that they've been thinking uh, about in the last few months, years, however long your last twin flame cycle was. Um, and I feel like the Divine Feminists know that, that this is like what they're supposed to do. The Divine Feminists are, are ready for their adventure and they are going to lead the way, right? The Divine Feminists know that. You start the adventure, your masculines will find you. Yes, victory. Yes, divine feminists, go for it. Go for it. Um, take chances, you know, reasonable risks, um, learn something new. Um, just, I know, go for it. Because it, I, I feel like there's, there's success there. There's no harm in trying. And, and I feel like you will be successful in like just taking action on something that you're passionate about, that you have interest in. Like this is, if there's a time to do it, right now is the time. It's a good, it's a good time to do it. Yeah, T take that chance. I, I feel like these are things that you've been dreaming about. Like, hey, what if I try this out? Um, maybe you've got gotten opportunities to um, to go somewhere, you know, with someone invited you out or, you know, uh, something popped up on your web browser or on your phone that said like, hey, this would be an interesting place to check out or, you know, you follow up on it and you've been thinking about it for months, like maybe I should go there or, you know, maybe I should check out this new kind of hobby. Maybe I should check out this, just go, I would say go for it. You know, there's, there's um, um, excitement here because in a lot of my readings, I got that a lot of um, divine feminists that have been, divine masculines too, but the divine feminists who've been doing a lot of their spiritual work and have been kind of in, um, in hermit mode for the past few falls and winters, this is going to be a very active and social uh, fall and winter for you, divine feminists. Okay, Divine Masculine's action towards the Divine Feminines. Queen of Pentacles, okay. So right under the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like the Divine Masculine's yellow, yellow, yellow are really positively looking at um, the Divine Feminines and they're looking down the line. They're, they're feeling like down the line, I can definitely see them becoming my partner. Um, but it's kind of that, that, that feeling, you know, when, um, you just discover who you are or you find out, you find out a new, new part of yourself and you kind of want to explore that for a little bit because it has you excited. I feel like that's where the divine masculines are a little bit. So that they realize that they're, you know, they have similar interests that maybe that the divine feminine does and they didn't realize that they did back when they last communicated with you or are um, connected with you, Divine Feminists, or if you are in communication, they're they're taking on your interests and exploring that, and you know, or some of some 
some of the things that you're interested in, passionate about, have knowledge about, um, and even their own versions, you know. You might be into learning facts about GMOs. They might be learning facts about cooking with different spices. So it's like, you know, just they're getting inspired to find themselves and um, you are their inspiration to find something. You are their inspiration and they know at some point that, they're, that they want to settle down with you, connect with you in some way. Um, but they're in this like, kind of excitement mode where everything's going on and they're excited to learn about themselves and you know, find out more about themselves, this new part of themselves they never knew. Yeah, Knight of Wands, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they, um, it turns them on that you're so adventurous, Divine Feminines, because I feel like, I feel like Divine Feminines, you might have, um, when you first met your Divine Masculines, you know that, remember that confidence, remember how great you looked, remember how um, perfect timing it was, and how everything just worked? if not the first time eventually but like very quickly right i feel like the divine masses are remembering you that way that's why you have so much energy to go out and go for that adventure divine feminines because the divine masses are remembering you that way and it's putting energy into that divine feminines are so adventurous you know they're always trying new things you know they seem like they can change the world <laughs> you know so the divine masses are like that, that, that gets them a little excited. <laughs> that gets them a little more excited than you would think. Divine Feminines, Action Space, for the Divine Masculines. Oh, this, okay, this came up a few times, but I, I was like, I need to see proof to, to see if it was true. But I feel like a lot of Divine Feminines are meeting the Masculines halfway. So I feel like a lot of Divine Feminines may be traveling or may may have their divine masculines close by, so they might be traveling to the masculines because they're close by. I also got that some divine feminines are like you know going on vacation or going um, you know just maybe going to a different grocery store or just going to um, an event, not knowing that they're going to bump into their divine masculines. It's a really auspicious time to accidentally bump into your divine masculines. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be if if you get if if you do bump into your divine masculines it's going to be unexpe unexpected and kind of casual even. Um divine masculines action space out in the world. Yeah the divine masculines are really um working on their intuition really feeling into themselves like how uh, how this kind of energy stuff works how they can connect to their subconscious or higher self um yeah i feel like they're becoming a little bit more serious um they might be some of the divine masculines might be seeing the 11 11 or 333 three, three, or 222s a lot um and actually taking action on it, like looking it up, what does this mean? They might be coming across YouTube videos that have that title, um, and then just you know going down that rabbit hole. So they're really taking action on some signs and synchronicities that come up, and really um, putting two and two together. Um, so divine feminines are kind of at this place where they're done a lot of reviewing already from their the past week the past month the, the past summer the past year the past few years the past in general you know things in your past that you didn't really want to look at but it's like all right this is the only last thing that like if i had to clear something this would be it um things from your childhood gross disgusting things from your past um embarrassing situations um Things that might have annoyed you but didn't get you angry or sad. Things like that. It's like, it's done. Out of my system. I'm ready for this new adventure. Yeah, see? Done. I'm ready for this new adventure. Just done with the judgment. On to the world. Exp 
exploring, adventure, you'll be successful, take action on your dreams, you'll get opportunities, and it'll be fantastic, you'll meet a bunch of great people, you'll just know what to do, you'll know these are your people, you'll know this is your thing. And the masculines, you're just, hey, well, it'll happen when it happens. So the divine masculines, um, they're really, they're really taking steps to slowly come towards you feminines. There's that all backwards. Yeah. They're slowly taking steps to come towards you feminines. And it's like, they know their wish is granted. They know they're going to work with you in some capacity in the future. They're excited about how, um, how adventurous you are, how creative you are, how inspiring you are, how courageous you are to take action on things that you like without caring about what other people think, right? They're really strongly working on um, their spiritual abilities, their intuition, whether they know it or not, in their own way, they're going to figure it out. They are sad that they don't have their, their community, like the feminines are. Uh, greeting at this time because you're you're leading the way a little bit feminines but they are very excited not just for union but about how they are changing as a person all this beautiful thing that comes with the twin flame union figuring out who you are okay general energy of the twins all right all right there's a little bit of When, when are we going to see each other? Um, I feel like some of the Divine Feminists may be having a hard time. Not just blurting it out there that, um, hey, I've done so much work for so long and I can taste union and it's right here, you know, maybe wanting to reach out to them or maybe um, wanting to, this could also translate into um, mission work in your life, t taking action on some sort of, taking, taking a risk, taking a chance on something when you're fed up with work, when you're fed up with the people around you, when you know you got the most out of this location, this home, this uh, group of friends, this you know, job, this uh, hobby, this whatever it is, like you know, time, time, time to take chance on something new. Because um, I feel like some of the divine feminists might be a little bit struggling with um, not having the twin flame union manifest yet. All right, uh, that's it for this reading. I can just say that no matter what's going on in your life right now, there is so much beautiful abundance coming in this week. It is going to be mind blowing. We have a lot of planets and aspects in Libra this this week, and it's going to be very harmonious, filled with love. So just soak in that love, uh, give that love, share that love, receive that love, be that love. Okay, because um, it's. it's it's going to be a fun week. It's going to be a great week. All right, that's it for this reading. If you like this reading, please like, comment, and subscribe. And oh, um, I'm going to be picking up three random comments for a free reading from this comment uh, section below. Um, and I'm Natalia, reminding you to stay mostly in the moment. And I wish you so much love, light, and